Okay, folks, this is the first in a series of videos I'm doing called So You Want to Be a Computer Technician. And in each video, I'm going to discuss uh, something else that you'll need, and I'm going to discuss a book. Now, first off, I want to talk about what you're going to need personality-wise to run your own computer repair business. You can work another job. You can work out of your house and, and fix computers in your neighborhood on the weekends, and a lot of you are probably already doing that. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the bottom right hand corner of this video, but my download manager completed downloading a uh, network card driver for an e-machine while we were doing this video. Kind of ironic. But anyway, long story short, you need, you need a couple things. You need the drive to make this thing work. If you're going to go solo and quit your job, you darn sure better know what you're doing. And you better have the gumption to make it work. The buck stops with you. Um, that, so that's one of the things you're going to need is drive. You probably have that. If you're if you're that serious about it, you probably have that. Secondly, and more importantly, you have to have an ability to troubleshoot a PC. Uh, and what I mean by that is you have to have the ability to keep thinking outside the box until you get it fixed. I have had companies call me, people call me, and tell me when I'm done, after I've fixed the problem, that I was the third tech they called, and nobody else before that had the stick to to stay with it. Um, I also don't charge if I can't fix it. And let me tell you what, that gets me a lot of business. I don't have a default charge if I can't fix it. I do have a minimum charge if I do fix it, and, and I work out those things from there. But secondly, or thirdly actually, you have to have a personality to work with people. If you don't have a, a personality to work with people, if you like making fun of people, if you don't have the ability to help a person who has no idea what they're doing to, to work with their computer without getting frustrated with them, stop watching these videos and hang it up if you're if you're rude to people if you are not a people person you are not going to be good at taking care of the customer you may get away with it and people may put up with you but as soon as they can find someone else trust me they'll abandon you i can't tell you how many times i have picked up customers just this last week I picked up a business that told me that their last tech was good, he was darn good, but he was a jerk, and he constantly talked down to them, to the owner of a multi-million dollar company he talked down to. Not a good call. So if, if you're not a people person, stop watching the video, try something else. Now if, you, if you've got those things in the bag, if you've got the stick to be able to do it, you got to be able to do your own paperwork or have somebody that can work with you on it. you got to be able to keep good records, trust me, it can be a problem if you don't. And then finally, you've got to have that, that ability to troubleshoot and, and especially that ability to, uh, to treat the customer right. I've walked into many a situation and not known how to fix the problem when I got there, but with some confidence, with, some, with some, some politeness towards the customer, I've been able to work my way through it, figure out what they're dealing with, and make it work for them. So on to this book. This book's a little long for what's in it, but it's only like 150 some odd pages, I believe. But it's called Start Your Own Computer Business, Building a Successful PC Repair and Service Business by Supporting Customers and Managing Money. It's got a nice long title. Um, down underneath the video that you're watching, there's a little drop-down. When you click on the drop-down, there's a link directly to the book out on Amazon.com. So check that out. That's actually the wrong book. That's the one I'm looking for right now. Check that thing out. Let me know what you think of it. I think it'll do very well for you. So i got to cut this video short. One of my customers is calling. So have yourself a great day. Bye.